Hello guys, in this video we will see projections of flame on bottom. A hexagonal lamina of 30 mm plus on one of its corner on BP. The diagonal containing the corner inclined 3 degrees to pH pit. The surface of the lamina is 35 degrees to BP. Draw its projections. So coming, basically how does the plane look like? It's something like a paper or a sheet. So in the planes we have generally three types of problems. One is perpendicular to both the planes and the second one is perpendicular to one plane and parallel to another plane. Perpendicular to one plane and inclined to another plane. This is what the problem is about which we are discussing now. Perpendicular to one plane and inclined to another plane. If supposingly there is a problem like perpendicular to both the planes, then we will have straight lines at both the cases. So this is how the plane looks like, say this, say this. And in the vertical uh, plane and in the horizontal plane, both the two planes will be giving its projections like a straight line only. If you want to see the true shape, then it should be parallel to one plane, that is something like this. Supposing the like this it is there, it is parallel to horizontal plane and perpendicular to vertical plane. Therefore, this square is uh, looking, it's, we can look at the true shape of its square in the top view for this square that is here. Whereas for this case, it is perpendicular to horizontal plane and uh, parallel to vertical plane. Therefore, true shape is visible to you in the vertical plane that is in the front. So that is how you get in the second type of problem. In the third type of problem, we have this type of concept. It is neither it is parallel to any one of the plane, it is inclined to one plane and perpendicular to another plane. When this is the case, what happens is that the true shape will not be visible. So basically what we will do is that we try to draw the true shape first and then incline the line so that we will get the information in the uh, projectors. So that is how we will do the problem. So come back to the problem here. The question is, hexagonal lamina of 30 mm rests one of its corner in the vertical plane. So first, it is on the vertical plane, it is a known information from the question. So first let me draw the hexagonal lamina with 30 mm base uh, in the vertical plane. So let us go to the AutoCAD script then use uh, first to set the screen like uh, use limits under center 0, 0, under center 500, comma 500 under center. Then check the dimensions if it is perfectly in uh, mm or not because we want to draw mm. So it is only in mm then okay. Then you can press Z enter, A enter so that it will uh, extend into all. Now, uh, the question is something like we need to draw a 30 mm. No? Where is this question? This question is 30 mm. No? So let us draw a XY line that is a reference line, optically plane. Let us draw. So select the line command and give some straight line we want. So I am pressing R to R and I am pressing some 200 mm line and draw something like this. And then press X. This is nothing but our XY line, which is a reference line. Now, as per the question, uh, one of its sides uh, rests in the one of its corner rests in the vertical plane now. So corner should be in the vertical plane. One of its corner should be in the vertical plane. So the corner means uh, now we can see that uh, uh, we have to draw the hexagon in such a way that the corner is in vertical plane. That is what the information is given. So first let me draw the edge that we know. let me draw the edge that we know. <coughs> that is like this how much 30 mm once 30 mm side is drawn go for polygon that is polygon here and give the number of sides as 6 because it is an hexagon we want to draw it exactly then it will ask specific center point on the polygon but here instead of going for specific center point press on this edge or else you can type e and press enter so then we can give edge points this is my edge point and this is my another edge point so two edge points are given to us, which is a regular hexagon, which is not here. So unnecessary line, whatever is there, you can delete it. So you can select it like this, and we can delete it. This way, we can delete it. So this is the regular hexagon, which is drawn. This is nothing but the laminar uh, plane. Uh, what is the question? Hexagonal laminar, whatever it is there, it is drawn. Now, the diagonal containing the corner inclined at 50 degrees to HP. The diagonal containing the corner inclined at 50 degrees to HP. It is inclined at 50 degrees to HP. So remember one thing: in these questions, either in the projection of points or planes or solids or anything, if any information is given in the question regarding horizontal plane, 
then that will be looking to us in the projections of vertical frame, which means that it is visible to us in the top uh, front view. So, re re uh, reverse case is also same concept. If it is inclined at 35 degrees to VP, the surface of the laminar is inclined at 35 degrees to VP, this 35 degrees will be visible to us in the projections of uh, top view, that is, it will be visible to us on the horizontal frame, that is, bottom side. So, first uh, let us draw this one. So, it is 50 degrees. Let, let us assume that, let us draw, uh, give the names here. So, MT and MT and uh, So, I will give the names here. This is, uh, let me give it as uh, some 5 size, equal center. And this one is a, a small A dash. Since it is a front view, everything will be like dashes. So, dashes. So, I am copying it and uh, giving it different other locations also, the names. This is B dash, this is B dash, this is C dash, and this is B dash, and this is E dash, and this is F dash. So let me assume that my point A dash is in the A, A dash is in the like uh, uh, corner of the VP, let me suppose that E dash and this is B dash and it is C dash C dash, okay? A dash, B dash, C dash, B dash, C dash, F dash Now let me assume this A point is in the, or the, this corner point A is there in the VP then the diagonal from this corner, whatever it is there, will become this one that is A dash, D dash now this diagonal is saying that this diagonal is how much? It is 50 degrees to horizontal plane. Therefore, let me draw a let me let me say that this 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 line should be inclined. A dash B dash line should be inclined at 50 degrees. So supposingly if there is any line like this, if any there is a line like this, and I am selecting that line. And I am selecting that line and I am using the rotate command. And I am rotating it with how much uh, in the anti clockwise direction it should be rotated <coughs> excuse me, 50 degrees. So, if it is rotated 50 degrees, so this A dash D dash line will be on this line. Okay, so let, let us keep it like that only. I'll, I'll try to do one thing I'll simply select this thing and use rotate command. And with this as base, I'm rotating it with how much. 50 degrees directly. So you can see A dash, D dash and this one are both aligned with each other. Therefore, the angle is perfectly given. If you are having any doubt that if you are drawing correctly or not, then you can give the annotation. Excuse me. Okay. You can give the annotations perfectly and beforehand itself so that you can know the information. So this is the information which is given to you in the question period. So when vertical plane 50 degrees is already shown to you, automatically the base also should be shown. No? Whenever it is uh, parallel to this, automatically it will be perpendicular to the another plane that is horizontal plane. Therefore, in the horizontal plane, we will get directly a straight line. So let me draw a straight line simply like this. On this straight line only, we will be have these projections. So I will take line command and try to change the color for it. So these are all these, these uh, light yellow color lines are all the projectors for me. So this is my first F point and this is my A point. This is my E point and this is my E point. This is my B point. This is the C point. So let me give the names also for it. This is F dash now. So MT enter. I'll give the name here. It becomes. Let me give this one also five size, and this is F. Press. This is F. It's okay. My layer F. Okay. This is your F point. This is your uh, what is this? this is your A point. As you can see, 
the top view the names will be a dash b dash c dash c dash whereas in the, in the front view will be having dashes whereas in the top view will be having uh, directly we are not giving any dash or we will give this then this is your uh, b dash b since it is coming from b dash this becomes b since this is coming from b dash this becomes b so if you see carefully what are the projector line it is being projected from that one is giving that name only you can see here so this becomes c dash c so do one thing we'll change the p type and give the some concept like this and uh, point out the points at all these points like this so this is your first point f second point a e b d and c this part so okay. uh, whatever the unnecessary things are they can remove so i can press uh, i can go for the trim option and uh, this is not necessary for me you can select the trim option this is not necessary for me this is not necessary for me those two all they know if you want you can give the color separately for this all <laughs> and here also you can give separate color for this one so i'll i'll try to do one thing i'll give them some some red color here. so you can see carefully the yellow color lines are the projector lines whereas the red color line is the your hexagonal lamp so this is the first step which is there in the question once this question first step is finished second question is that the surface of the lamina is inclined at 35 degrees to vp surface surface of the lamina is inclined at 35 degrees to vp which means this 35 degrees should be located in the horizontal plane so that means whatever the straight line obtained to you in this here this one should be tilted with 30 degrees so 35 degrees so i'll do one thing i'll select all those things and i'll copy and i'll uh, copy paste it somewhere like this here then i'll select all these things and i'll rotate it with how much angle uh, with 35 degrees angle with 35 degrees angle so 35 degrees i'm rotating it like this now let me check the angle between these two if, if it is not coming 35 what i can do i can do 90 minus 35 in that way i can do okay so do do you do check in the beforehand itself before going to the next step you go for uh, checking these dimensions so rather than uh, not checking and uh, drawing them first hand it's beforehand itself you check it and uh, try to see so okay you can see that the 35 degrees is perfectly there so i can keep it like that so whatever it is there i can uh, lastly i'll show this 35 degrees angle so i'm removing it or i can move it move it a little upward direction so i'll select all these things and i'll move a little up now what i'll do is that i'll use the same color projector lines i'll use the same color projector lines line and uh, whatever the yellow color is there from f point up to this f line up to this f line i'll draw a point so this point becomes f dash new f dash element. how did i do it i have selected a line command and from a i have started drawing it i did not click it here anywhere then i have gone to the a point a dash point i did not click there also then i have come like straight line from there and uh, automatically the intersection point will be highlighted to you because we did it in the O snap settings, we did it no. So like this, we'll get it the dotted line. The interception will be getting like this, and this is the new point which is there. So this is your A dash new point. Similarly, E point we can start, and up to E point we can go like this. If this is not there for you, what you can do is that directly simply you can go like this. You can draw a straight line like this. I'll show it to you like that one also. Directly, I'll draw straight lines like this. I have extended it. After that, B, D, C, no. So from here, up from B to here, I'll draw a straight line. From B to here, I'll draw a straight line. Where is this? This is this. Line. And from C to C dash also, I'll draw a straight line. Then you can remove unnecessary things. So that I can click trim. So this is not necessary. I'll remove. This is not necessary. I'll remove. This is not necessary. I'll remove and uh, b point is somewhere here only so above it it is not necessary so this one this one can be removed so in this way also i can go so that means i can go by intersection option by o snap settings or else you can go straight lines and other thing. do one thing you go by straight line method only it will be easy for you so that the projectors also will be easily shown so let me draw from f dash to f from e dash to e and from a dash to a also i'll draw straight line 
Now all the final points are obtained to you. That is, P O enter, change the color to some red color. So this is your first point. That is A point. Then where is B? This is your B point. Then this is your C. Then this is your D. Then this is your E. Then this is your F. So A B C D F points are obtained there. So select the line command. Then join all these lines, all these points, so that your uh, final figure is finished. So once it is finished, you can select all those lines along with these, all these things, and give this separate color. I'll give green color, and I can also give some line weight because this is the final image, you know. So I'm giving some line weight to it, some 50. I'm giving it for it to be visible. Line weight display will be on. So with this, the diagram is finished. Once this is finished, you have to give annotations here. That is nothing but this is become this becomes F dash. So I'll copy it and I'll paste it here like this. This becomes F dash. Then this becomes E dash. This becomes E dash. This becomes B dash. This becomes B dash. This C dash to C dash. B dash to B dash. A dash to A dash, A dash to A dash. So, whatever is there all there? Again, I'll select all those things and I'll give some green color, and I can give some line weight so that everything is finished. So this is how you you give these things. And uh, even now the diagram is not finished. The reason is that we did not give annotations. So go to the annotations. Click on the annotations and give angular dimension. What is the angular dimension? First, draw to us this point and angular dimension. Select the angular dimension and uh, give the information regarding this line and this line, which is how much? 50 degrees. Just 50 degrees. So, I, 50 degrees is known to us by fifth, in the beginning of the question. We got. And also, we know the information regarding aligned dimension. What is that aligned dimension? That is the base of this is. How much 30 information is known to us? That one also I have up claimed it here. Right. 30, 50 is also known. Then we have another information regarding the angle. What is that angle known to us? Angular information between this line and this line. It is how much 35 degrees. That that line also I have uh, that angle also I am showing it, and that is also published here. So with this, the diagram is finished. After that, you can give the information regarding the question that is the MP and I will give it something like this with the 5 as my size and press enter and I will copy all this question whatever I want and I will paste it in here the close text editor I will zoom extends and I can click it and I can drag it so that the problem will be perfectly shown to us so this is how you do it so with this the position of planes when the question is given like hexagonal lamina of side 30 mm press on one of its corner since it is corner uh, that corner point should be tilted no? for that sake i have drawn the hexagon in a that way if you want you can show it i can show it here um, instead of uh, drawing the hexagon uh, like this we have drawn the hexagon like this and then we have tilted it we can also draw the hexagon like this but uh, you understand one thing, whatever you do, the tilting is same, the tilting is same, that is 50 degrees same. So finally, uh, the, if, it is keep, if it is drawn like this or if it is drawn like this, ultimately the this final point will be same. So for that sake, no problem. So everything is finished. Uh, I think XY name is not given. So